بسم الله والحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله الحمد لله حمدا يوافي نعمه ويكافئ مزيده صلى الله على سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين رب شرح لي صدري ويسر لي أمري وحل العقدة من لساني يفقه قولي رب زدني علما رب زدني علما رب زدني علما Welcome all to the 99 names of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala We're looking now at the name Al-Mu'min Al-Mu'min is that name of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala which has a couple of meanings. Al-Mu'min is the name of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala which comes from the word aman, safety, security. Al-Mu'min is that name of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala which comes from the word aman, safety, security, and at the same time it comes from iman as well, belief. So Al-Mu'min is number one, the one who brings safety to humanity. That is why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran, الَّذِي أَطْعَمَهُمْ مِنْ جُوعٍ And this is in Surah Quraysh, Allah says, الَّذِي أَطْعَمَهُمْ مِنْ جُوعٍ وَآمَنَهُمْ مِنْ خَوْفٍ The one who had fed them from hunger, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala had fed the Quraysh from hunger. You see, Quraysh are living in Mecca, a place, barren land, not, no vegetation, but Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala continuously feeds them from hunger because of all the tribes that constantly are coming to Mecca to make hajj. وَآمَنَهُمْ مِنْ خَوْفٍ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave them security and safety from khawf as well, from fear as well. Despite the fact that all of these, you know, Bedouin tribes are coming and they are constantly doing so, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala continues to give them security and safety. So Allah is the mu'min. Allah is the one who gives security to people. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given you security. Allah has given me security. Allah has given all of us security and this is why we have in a hadith, the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he said, مَنْ أَصْبَحَ مِنْكُمْ آمِنًا فِي سَرَبِهِ مُعَافًا فِي جَسَدِهِ وَعِنْدَهُ قُوتُ يَوْمِهِ فَكَأَنَّمَا حِيزَتْ لَهُ الدُّنْيَا بِحَذَافِرِيَا That whoever wakes up from you, آمِنًا فِي سَرَبِهِ And he has safety in his family. مُعَافًا فِي جَسَدِهِ And he also has health in his body. وَعِنْدَهُ قُوتُ يَوْمِهِ And he has the nourishment for one single day then this person has been given all of the goodness of the world. It's as if Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given him all of the blessings of the world. They've been all, you know, coupled together and been given to him. You know, because you're getting safety in your household and people that don't have safety in their homes, people that live in areas of conflict and chaos, they know what the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is saying. Don't wait for that to happen to yourself. Thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for the safety and security you have. Allah is the mu'min. Allah is the one who grants that safety. Allah is also the mu'min, meaning Allah is the one who gives iman to people. At times we can bring before people the greatest evidences of belief, but they will not believe. That is not in my hand and that is not in your hand. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala guides who he feels and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala leads it astray also who he feels. Allah is the mu'min. Allah is the one who gives this guidance. How do we inculcate this within our lives? The aman, safety and security that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has granted you, the way for you to appreciate that safety and security is for you yourself to allow other people to also feel safe from the evils that we can commit against other people. And that's why the Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he said, Wallahi la yu'min. Remember we said iman and aman, belief and safety. He said, a person will not be a believer until what what happens until his neighbor becomes secured of the evil that comes from his direction wallahi la yu'min wallahi la yu'min wallahi la yu'min man la ya'manu jaruhu bawa'iqa by allah the person will not believe again a second time by allah a person will not believe by allah a person will not believe i.e he will not become a complete believer until his neighbors are not secured of the evils that come from his side as in you Give the best treatment to your neighbors. And you enter within this safety of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala by saying, La ilaha illallah. That's why the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he said in a hadith what? He said that, La ilaha illallah, this is a hadith Qudsi, so it's raised to Allah. La ilaha illallah, hisni. La ilaha illallah is my, is my safety for you. I've made that like a, like a trench. I've made that like a place for you to feel secure in. It's a hisn. La ilaha illallah hisn. And then he said, فَمَنْ دَخَلَهُ أَمِنَ عَذَابِهِ Whoever enters this hisn of mine, whoever enters the safe 
haven of mine, then he has been saved and secured of what? Of my punishment. This is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala speaking in a hadith Qudsi which is authentic. And the Prophet ﷺ had taught us another way for us to help other people and inculcate the meaning of the safety within our lives by helping other people also be saved from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's wrath and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's adab and chastisement and torture. How do we do that? By bringing people to Islam, by teaching them of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, by making them realize that, that this deen in fact is the most beautiful of religions and if a person comes to that recognition and that recognition Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will allow the hearts to turn. And that's why the Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam he said in this hadith, very beautiful hadith, he said, all of you, innakum, and that's a lesson for us to take, innakum tatahafatuna ala nari tahafut al-firash. That you, all of you, end up going and, and you know, clogging up the fire, like if there's a fire there, you're all going from different directions to that fire, just as you see the moth attracted to light. The moth, it gets attracted to light. The Prophet ﷺ, he said, وَأَنَا أَخُذٌ بِحُجَزِ أَخِذٌ بِحُجَزِكُمْ And I am holding your belts from you falling into that fire. So what the Prophet ﷺ is trying to teach us is that if Allah is the protector, we have been sent as the vicegerents of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala on this earth for us to help protect other people from falling into this fire as a result and in extension to the legacy of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam wa sallallahu ala sayyidina Muhammadin wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'in.